We'd come to an agreement on a contract. He actually called me and said, hey, Ben, we've, we've got a problem. Uh, we've had a house fire. So fast forward a couple of days, the insurance adjuster comes out and she completely refuses to go into the house. Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime scene cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. I'm Ben Smith in Spalding Decon in Raleigh, North Carolina. It is a bright and beautiful Monday morning, obviously, a little rain, overcast. Um, we're on the way to a hoard this morning that uh, actually was a second time, second chance type uh, callback. <clears throat> it was a hoard that uh, the lady, uh, we'd come to an agreement on a contract and we were about to proceed and about three days before he actually called me and said, hey Ben, we've, we've got a problem. Uh, we've had a house fire. So fast forward a couple days, the insurance adjuster comes out and she completely refuses to go into the house. The first thing that they want us to do, and, and this is the first stage of, of what we're tackling today, is she wants us to remove all the trash from the walkways areas throughout the entire home. Um, she refused to enter into the home as an adjuster. She said she's been doing it for 30 years and she's never seen something like this. But yeah, so we're looking forward to this one and uh, supposedly there's 10 cats, four have been found. So we'll see what we find with the rest. We're gonna do an initial walkthrough just so the guys get uh, eyes on it. And uh, also just so we can sort of walk through the layout of the house and figure out what's the best plan of attack for stage one. Uh, obviously, I already have dumpsters on site, so we'll start there and walk through. It looks like that's where that's where they think it started at was in the master uh, bedroom. Uh, don't know exactly from what uh, they say they think it's an electrical fire of some sort, but uh, I haven't seen the final report on that. Well, right inside that door, you have a reclining chair and basically the garbage is going pretty much up the whole side of it to the armrest. So to get access to this door, we basically have to remove the chair, remove the garbage, the door swings open inwards. So we'd have to clear a path to get that done.
Would you like a drink for the hard day? Would you like some kosher pickles? Wow. Actually, <laughs> May 3rd, 2022. The mark uh, perception. <laughs> Several feet of stuff, so just when you think you, you've made headway, you realize there's another two feet left. They did not have nine lives. of being a horde in a fire firefighters come in and they dumped uh, quite a bit of water on top of it to put the fire out now this is turning to feet of just muck and grime so everything with the water just settled to the bottom 
So now we're finding just a sludge at the bottom as we shovel stuff out. Pretty much this is a total waste as far as what the adjusters you look at. So this is a, everything in the walkway is pretty much trash. As you can see here, we have animal feces, which is a big problem on hordes, especially cats. This is one of the many spots that they were probably using the restroom in. Ben Smith there again in Raleigh, North Carolina. This is the end of day one at the Horde slash fire. So as you can see, we tried to make sure we pushed all the contents into an area just to make sure that when the contents adjuster comes, they can see what actually is of value to the home. But if you remember, the Horde was several feet deep. Coming all the way through here. Obviously going into the living room area. We still have to finish the kitchen. But we move through to the dining room. Got it completely walk through worthy. Yeah, we can actually get out the front. Door. So 
that's where we're at today. Uh, so tomorrow we'll come in, we'll start on the living room, we'll focus 100% on the living room at the first of the day. And then uh, as we get done with that, we'll mag right into the hallway, try to get that finished. And uh, yeah, that should be a good full day. Day two, we've cleaned through the dining room, obviously a couple of access rooms. You can actually walk into the living room. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.